What's up, y'all? This is Ice on Ice Inclusive Channel. Here, we're gonna have a live moto vlog for you, actually. Um, you will notice that when my speed gets up a bit higher, it can be a bit difficult to hear me. So I am still working on um, perfecting the audio and things like that. But for the most part, I believe you should be able to hear me a decent amount. So I hope you guys have a great day. And without further ado, I will pass it on to myself on the bike. Alright guys. Look at that red bike. Oh my gosh. That bike is about to be mine, baby. That's gonna you hear you heard it here first. The red bike is gonna be uh the red bike is a VFR 800 and I've been knowing I wanted one um potentially but it looked a little like a little dinky to me at first when I was looking at pictures and stuff but that's why you want to look um, in person and that don't is disgusting man so that'll be my next bike Ooh. yeah I'm here on a night ride I love night rides let me tell you love them in that you know, all these people look cool. The thing about motorcycles, and I've noticed this, is people who wouldn't typically talk to me talk to me now because I have a motorcycle. Not from like a cool effect, but a camaraderie effect. Like today, there was a woman, uh, a white woman, who came up to me and she had a tattoo with a heart, and in the heart was the Confederate flag. Now, that's different when you have a whole tattoo, and in the, in the tattoo is the Confederate flag. You've got that don't stamp on you for life, essentially. And, you know, historically, most people like that ain't trying to talk to no black man, especially if I'm just sitting out the way, like, there's no reason. And I was sitting down eating my ice cream. Uh, it was a turtle ice cream something. And she comes up to me and she says, that's a beautiful color on that bike. And the other day, I was going to my college for graduation. You guys may see videos on that soon, actually. But um, I was riding behind another guy, and he just had a huge Confederate flag on his... Um, on his back and it's like the only thing that connects us from an obvious standpoint is that we ride now of course as humans there's so many other things that really do connect us but because we ride um, that's an obvious thing where it's almost like they see that before they see um, that you know I'm black unfortunately them seeing I'm black shouldn't do anything really it should just be like okay, God made him black God made me white we're all children of God, and that's a beautiful thing. Our differences are beautiful. But, you know, we're still not there in society. I just think that's interesting. Woo! I think that's interesting. I do wonder also, because I am kind of out here. Oh my God. I don't know what that was. One second, I'm gonna make sure. Oh um, God, yeah. I Bike. 
I'm not sure if you guys also noticed that I haven't been rev mapping too. So, and if you look carefully at the amount of miles, we're at 5,802. I got the bike in January at 2,000. So, you know, we we doing our thing out here. But as I was saying, I just really think it's so interesting. How people treat you differently because you have a certain cell model. It makes you wonder, like, do they see the bike before they see the skin? Or does it actually, I don't know. I just think as motorcycles can bring people together, then other things should be able to bring people together too. And it's just sad. It's sad in one way that we need motorcycles or basketball or different things like that to bring us together. And in another way, it's kind of like, um, I don't know, put up right here. In another way, it's kind of like a, a kind of cool thing where it just gives you a different experience with people who otherwise, like most of the people I ride with, I probably would not have ended up talking to, if we're being honest, uh, if we didn't share riding together. So. That's one of the things about motorcycle riding that a lot of people may not share um, the same perspective that a lot of people ride may not be black um, or may not be of an ethnicity or background in which for the most part people don't really do nothing with them that much unless they're famous or they're, it's like as a black person it's almost like I have to have something to offer you whether it be me being famous or me being a super scholar or me being really funny. I have to have something to offer you, you um, or offer many people for it to be worth having a conversation with me unless they're black. Um, or even if they're black sometimes, but for the most part it's unless they're black, which is really sad. But in the motorcycle, you know how many people that came up to me that I guarantee you would never have talked to me just because I was riding a motorcycle? Because they like my bike. Um, so. Something to think about. Um, just kind of want to share my experiences with y'all. Now, of course I'm still a new rider, but as the channel is progressing and growing, I will not be talking as much about being a new rider as I am just talking about experiences that come with motorcycle riding because like I said I want to give different people a different perspective so if you ride this channel and you have no intent on riding a motorcycle ever that's totally cool that's totally fine um I what what can I offer you and if there's anything that comes to mind put that in the comments but that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to bring together people who ride motorcycles people who like basketball people who have a lot of black friends, people who may not, never have met a black person in person. I may be the only black perspective you hear. I may be the only Christian perspective you hear. I just want to put some positivity out in the world, offer a different perspective. Um, and you know, hopefully, if you guys look in the comments, we'll be able to build a unique, um, multi-ethnic and loving community uh, at, on this channel, but, you know, this channel is never meant to be about motorcycles or basketball or one thing or the other. It's meant to bring love, spread positivity, be a movement towards um, advancing our lives, advancing our character, ourselves, and, you know, hopefully, my goal is, like, if I ever were to pass away, unfortunately, for, from anything, I would want people to come back and look at this channel and be able to kind of see my essence in this channel. Um, so I want you guys to think of it like that. I'm just kind of leaving, not necessarily my legacy. I don't really think about legacy that much, but maybe that's what it is. Um, I'm kind of just leaving, leaving my breadcrumbs, leaving my, my footsteps, my footprints, um, any influence I have, anything like that behind, and hopefully it'll help someone. This as many YouTubers I have watched to help get me through college have help not only get me to college and inspire me, point me back to God, show me certain things are possible that I may have never even thought of, but they've helped inspire me to, you know, get into real estate or um, start my own YouTube channel. And so yeah, more on this later. I just want to 
Say what's up to y'all. Love y'all. And I will see y'all later. So, with that said, peace.